retirement now, so and uh you can see I how can, they got here though. You can see how they yeah, got here. You sure can, man. These players have gone through the group match. Both uh going three and zero in groups. Yeah. Group match and then now we're working our way through the bracket stages and uh, we're gonna kick it off now as we start in uh world three, which becomes world free. How joyous is that? You know what? Maybe I should have used that other seed. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> switch it. Switch them last second. I sure did, man. I was like, I don't like those. I just, I literally saw the seeds. Like, I don't like them numbers. <laughs> and so, of course, the match will stay close as we already just going to skip World Three. I'm um, going straight to uh, my first Koopa Kid fight here. I was picking up power up. Hopefully, hopefully, Wendy can uh, une like. Uh, settle on uh, or change the balance so so far because uh, it's been i mean it's one it's one stage but nope yeah. it's like uh windy one hit yeah when is the one hit today one so windy so pretty pretty easy first world we'll have to hope for the next seed to be a bit tougher in world three yeah, we can... that's, a, that's a great think... start though yeah i might have to pre-play the seed just to make sure <laughs> yeah. i think i'll do that right now here <laughs> Yeah, I know. The chat, trust me, everybody wants the five-hit thick Wendy, and hey, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. We're on pace for a 30-minute seat here. Dude, blame RNG, okay? <laughs> Lack of a better thing here. <laughs> so either way, because of that, though, we do have a short World 3, which means we're going to have, you know, obviously no hammers here, so we're going to play this World 4 map as intended for the most part. I missed checking that pipe first. Backtracked main area of the map. Can't break that lock without a hammer. Yep. So, um, here we go. And of course, one of the things if you know your information about the randomized tournament settings anyway, we have no auto scrollers for the most part, except for two stages. And this is one of those that is no longer an auto scroller and it can result in deaths like that. Ugh. Yeah, typically the auto scroller like, guides the player along the stage, but unfortunately that parabeal just wasn't there for, for sky bills. Yeah. Rushing that screen when you're not in auto scroller, so you sometimes have to run a little bit in the spawn at first and uh, gotta watch your step. So that's gonna give Mitch a slight little lead, of course, very, very early in this. Yeah, tournament. this is way too early to really make an impact. Uh, just don't give Mitch the victory yet. Yeah, again, we, we haven't had any, we're not even at the point where we have to worry about items again. Matching games obviously come into play, trying right. to find some hammers and P wings and clouds, things to help shorten this run even more. Than just having very very nice pipe randomization. So of course a chance for a free item for Mitch with a coin ship here again double, double blue ring brothers here and of course a free item and maybe to be something nice here. Well, uh, just a little star. So again something nice to have when you have an upcoming hammer brother for sure. Right. Especially for a little. Two more uh, hand rollers in this stage. Could be useful. Indeed it can. So, of course, Mitch showing his keen knowledge of moving to the level. Again, that's something that, you know, Mitch has, you know, Sky Bills is a runner. And she has, um, in the past, you know, run Mario 3 in a warpest fashion. But right. Mitch just has the pure years of experience over most runners of this game. I mean, the only person I really know in the tournament that has been playing Mario 3 in a speedrun fashion as long as him is probably Chuck. Um, who Scott Beals did take out yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how, the, how that skill, again, Mitch will probably have the advantage of just maneuvering through a lot of the technical levels here. But, of course, as we all know, with enemies being randomized in various levels, some of those advantages you have bouncing off certain enemies and whatnot is going to be gone because of just the same thing. So, Mitch will have to slow down just a tad when those things happen. I might have heard of some, some players... Who had that spear ring background mentioned that uh, it's kind of a bit a bit of a disadvantage because you're expecting to bounce off an enemy or make this this jump a, sp a specific way, but it just doesn't work out because of the the enemies being shuffled around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you get in the rando? I mean, what are you saying, as as are you just download and play it? Yeah. This is the day and age of the randomization. It really yeah. is. Just look at all the games now. No one wants to play games vanilla. 
Because in Vanilla, you won't see Boss Bass going around here in 7-5 either. No, I'm just uh, clipping through these walls here, skipping the under the under area of this world, avoiding that Boss Bass too. Yeah. See Sky Bill's taking the first uh, in-card game. The layouts and the power-ups are all shuffled. So when she does make a match, we won't know what it is until she checks her inventory. Indeed. Yep. Chester Chi, if you look at that command that Dorkmaster has uh, brought up, if you look at that very last paceman, that gives you the particular settings that you use right now in the random miles of tournament settings. And, oh, Mitch. <laughs> yeah, just narrowly avoiding that. He's He was waiting for it, too, but wasn't expecting it from the left side. Yeah. So, of course, one thing about that is you ha it, boss pass does spawn by every five seconds after you kill him. So, <laughs> he's going. I'm not sure exactly which route he's going here. Yeah, he was going for that clip at the end there. Uh, Boss Bass had other things in mind. I'm not sure if he actually knows which way to go normally. Yeah, because see, the thing is, and, and this is an interesting thing about a. I mean, I'm sure Mitch knows, but yeah, for right. him, commonly, it's just a level that you wouldn't play at all in most of exactly. the runs. Unless you're doing a hundo, you would never play this level. You know, just from a writing standpoint. I'm able to get through, though, boarding the boss pass. Sky Bill is just a uh, short, short ways behind. Yeah. So, Mitch's first dabble on the on the matching game here. Again, well, he knows where one is. So, he'll have to wait another increment of 80k points to try it again. So, fire versus fire, and fire wins, surprisingly. Maybe not the best of item here. Getting a Musa boss. Musa boss not going to be used too early because you definitely want to use those hamburgers to get items in. But as we get later on, when they're like, okay, that's enough enemies, enough items, just get rid of them. Right. Skip them. Boss Bass is a heat. Well, let, well, see, the thing is, Bertha is the lady, and I mean, do you know any women named Bass? I'm just saying. I mean, yeah. Bass or Bass? I don't know. Boss, boss been, base. We've been mispronouncing, mispronouncing, mispronouncing this, entire, uh, this entire time. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. In this day and age, who knows what they are? I don't know. That's my have to contact Nintendo about that one. Yes. They did confirm the, the stage play, so maybe they'll confirm the, that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, some Mega Man reference there. Hey. <laughs> Nothing wrong with some Mega Man. You know, I know. When is that Mega Man Two randomized turn? Hey, eh? sign me up. You know, shameless non self promotion. One of our quarter, uh, one of our semifinalists, Duckfist, is actually the creator of the Mega Man Two randomizer. It is so interesting how we have some people in tournaments that actually have created their own randomizers for various games. So it is really cool. Yeah, man. So if you ever get bored and you want to go swing by Duckfist channel or there's a Mega Man 2 randomizer waiting for you. And warning, don't play on the hardest setting. Trust <laughs> me. Don't do it. Got both players making their way to the Air Force. Mitch taking uh, Boom Boom. Take out Boom Boom with a fire kill. Yeah. So again, um, this airship is part of the randomization pool of levels that are tied to all of the forts. Um, those levels do uh, either create a bridge or break a lock. So right. all those levels have all been shuffled along with each other. Yeah, there are three item or not item pools. There are three level pools. Your standard stages, another one hit Koopa Kid. What is this? Oh man. <laughs> you know what? I have a hard code to see them. I'm liking this. You have been mentioning a special seed. Maybe this is the opposite of that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is a, a quote special seed that I did. Ooh. Modify, but okay, I, okay. I, it hasn't been totally tested. I hate for the game to just like give up in the middle of the run here. So testing the race. Yeah. What better way than a lot? Isn't this how you do in the IT world? Yeah. Right. Testing, just go straight to production. Make your end user the testers. Yep. So Mitch is going to have a little lead on Sky as we fall down to our third world, which happens to be World Two. Of course, we have no hammers again, so. Another long world in store to make up for that very short first one. He did try that anchor out. Anchor is a random item. Looking for yeah. the hammer, but not this time. I didn't know what it even was. I think it was just a mushroom. Yeah, the... Difficult to tell. Yeah, kind of trying to tell. Well, especially if you don't know what the power state is. Let's see. 
Yeah, it's like Sky's not even going to test to see what it is. But yeah, but as as, uh, as Jotab has said, that the anchor <laughs> is is any random inventory item. Um, in the first part of the tournament, it was a little bit biased towards the a frog bit, suit. A little bit. Just a tad, you know, maybe a <laughs> 9 out of 10 usage of it. But uh, we, now... We did. I was going to say, yeah. we did see it as a cloud a few uh, few matches ago. Different uh, matchup. Yeah, we yeah. did, so... We don't know what it is. Again, that's the wild card item. Again, it could be a valuable hammer. It could be just, you know, a mushroom. So, so Mitch matching that 10 coin... Which we saw a little earlier. I guess when we see his inventory, we'll see what it is. Of course, Sky matches the flower. So it looks like uh, we'll kick a glance at it a little bit later. Looks, oh, the flower is a cloud. Ooh, nice pickup there. Yeah, so that's very interesting. So the note that whenever you match an item in the, in the matching game, we know that from now on, any matching game will yield a cloud. Um, so, of course, with the flower being a common item, an item that you see on the board twice. Right. A little enticement to join those matching games now, especially if you get the same board twice. I mean, that's literally four clouds right yeah, there. Yeah, it's quite a bit of time saved. You can find those matches. Mm hmm. Yep, indeed. Yeah, Mitch, Nick, Mitch is not going for the life count here. Again, Scott Bills is very comfy on life. Of course, Scott I'm immediately using one of those clouds already hey maybe mitch will get early hammer would it just hey. disgust him so much to get early hammer in a randomizer run i know definitely it's speaking of hammer yeah right <laughs> <laughs> nice call scott, scott nice literally call. gets early hammer <laughs> unbelievable so she needs to skip <laughs> definitely he's one easy there skipping three stages i'm so mad at that <laughs> oh my goodness and of course the hammer brother for mitch in true mitch fashion runs away from him yep. even in randomizer you can't yeah, oh, a break. Poor guy. <laughs> so here we go. Sky is sitting here looking at um our three one stage. Just swimming along all nice and daintily. Man, poor Mitch. <laughs> well <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. That, that, that rotating platform, that's something I'll see every day. Yeah, very unusual death there from Mitch. Yeah, just slipped right off. Yeah, it got hit. I'm not sure if he lost the input or what. It looks like he tried to go for it anyway. And... Uh, that's what I would blame. Just lost input. I, I pressed yes. the button, but nothing happened. That's right. Lost input or RNG. That's all the flame you need right there. Exactly. exactly. Of course, unfortunately, with that death wheel, that will put Mitch a little bit behind. This guy's going to be able to take a lead, especially using that hammer. Right. He will pick up the hammer as well, I'm sure. So he'll have a chance to use that later on. So it may even out. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, hopefully Mitch doesn't go um, just out uh, of his skip it because we had again that's what happened yesterday in fact when Scott was in her previous match her opponent ignored the matching and unfortunately the hammer was on a common item so Scott was sitting pretty with you know tons of hammers and whatnot whereas her opponent just had to do levels as naturally and vanilla and again just can't over just can't overtake right. that deficit you I know mean, skipping to six, six stages it's, it's she was able to come back and take that victory just because of that. Yeah, just because of someone mixing match again, it's one of the things where if you're someone who doesn't play a lot of matching game, it could bite you back in the butt. You know, it doesn't happen often that right. aggressively, but it can happen. I will win this race. Well, don't hold your breath on that one, Ice Crew. I think I think Jatob has a better chance than I do. Race, <laughs> we'll see what happens. We got Sky Bills here in World Seven, checking that first pipe. Let's to the center section. World 7 can be a mess with uh, pipes being shuffled around. Yeah, and this, again, you know what's interesting right now is that we're not sure the route out yet for 7. Right. But Mitch does still have that hammer, and if for some reason he can find his way to the right side beside 7-9, that's going to be a pretty hefty skip for him in time savings. Definitely, especially if that pipe that leads to the seven or the say, stage of seven and eight section where the players are looking for, which mm -hmm. Skybills just found. Yeah, well, again, pipes being nice, and not only is it nice, Skybills is actually in the perfect power up state right now to do the uh, seven six skip. What was that second, third try? I see that third try there. So, yeah. again, pipes being very nice right here as far as the seed is concerned. So, the players not having to work too hard as far as navigating through these worlds. Yeah, enjoy it now. <laughs> So Scott going for more matching. She she knows that flower is a hammer, so she's definitely trying to match a flower if she can. Yeah, she knows that one of uh, one of them is look for that second one. 
Mm-hmm. Mitch going to go get the other Hammer Brother. And let's see here. So again, this is not, and now even though Scott does have a lead right now, and like happens in many random miles of races, um, she used a hammer. So she did skip a section, but now Mitch hasn't has his boss bass. Yeah, so of course there we we confirmed there the hammer is or the anchor is indeed that mushroom. And oh, so of course one thing about boss bass is you, you once you maintain P speed, you're fine, but you do have to build up to it for a couple seconds here. So, again, a little bit of that league and eating up here. Now, of course, one thing that could happen could really tie this up. If, if for instance, like you said, if World 1 happens to be the next match, for instance, on the next world, and Scott is not getting another hammer, you know, that's three stages right there that Scott will be forced to play, where Mitch won't. Uh, that, looks like Mitch is taking a different path. Um, yeah. Sky came to, went to this pipe and turned back around with a 7-1 play that. We'll see which way uh, Mitch goes next. As yeah, Sky's moving towards the end of World 7 here. Yeah. Just missing that thwomp. Yeah, Sky playing with pixels there. Uh, he definitely got to stay on the ceiling to avoid that one. Mitch. Everyone's favorite fortress. Of course. Hey. <laughs> of course, Mitch is more more uh, practiced in this using hammer stress, which, if you haven't seen it, is quite impressive. And would probably be quite handy on this particular stage with all those abundance of piranhas and of course a hot foot decided to just buy yourself. <laughs> but actually did it really body yourself or just like join his friends and family. Right. He he's <laughs> went to be with his family. <laughs> Alright, so Sky's gonna be ready to head to the next um ship here. Mitch still trying to get the path out of here. Um, unfortunately, let's see what he does here as far as his directions are concerned. Hmm. Yes. It's a free yeah. pipe, but I mean, it could lead to that uh, uh, the pipe next to the lock, like you mentioned. It could. And not quite, though. So close. So yeah, close. not that far away. Ludwig. A little heavy. Not too many hits, though. Only two hits, not too bad. Yeah. So right now, this this happens to be one of those cases in randomizer the world where Sky got a hammer early, took the right path, which obviously when a randomized setting, again, World 7 becomes just a, a gamble on path choices. And unfortunately, Mitch not making the right path choice here, so he's going to unfortunately end up getting farther behind as a result. Yeah, he doesn't know he's on the wrong path. He's just going with what he feels is right, yeah. looking for that exit, which is all he can really do when it comes to World 7. Yeah, this is exactly... And, and oh, man, World and 1 is next. He called it. Yep, so there is the time gain that Mitch needs, but he's going to have to get on the right path to even try to bring this back closer again. Oh, boy. Well, if he uses that hammer here in World 7, he comes across it, he won't have that advantage really uh like he'll be on the right path but he will be able to uh, make up that time of we yeah you, you kind of most of the random master players try to avoid using a hammer and of course mitch has now learned the hard way that he has gone the wrong way he's yep. on the other side of six so like i said most times when you use a hammer you kind of want to use a hammer in a place where you can maximize you know at least skipping two to three stages exactly and, you know even though it's convenient there, it's one of those things where at the start of a world, especially if you have a hammer that your opponent may not have, definitely a chance to build the lead. But again, it's going to be, he's starting to really build that deficit up. So hopefully his, the only thing that's really going to bring this back right now, unless Scott makes a bad choice of some deaths, is Mitch is going to have to have some premiumly, very, very good movement here. Yeah. Um, and Ooh, that's, that's, that's not it. <laughs> that is not it. That's not good movement there. So Mitch taking an interesting second death there, man. That's one of those lost levels, isn't it? The... Yeah. Yeah, again, this is one of the things that even the trained speedrunners don't have these levels to play. These are new levels to all of our randomizer players. Right, there's eight of them uh, spread amongst the normal stages. And they're usually unfinished levels. Uh, some, many, some of these stages don't have enemies at all. And you don't get anywhere any other opportunity to play them besides here in the randomizer. Yeah. 
I'm not cursed. They're the ones holding the controller. Don't be looking at me now. I'm yeah. the one who gave them that God seed. So if they mess up, hey, great start. They're 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 in their own. They have their uh their own fate in their hands right here. Man, you better blame Canada. Don't look at me. I ain't doing it. <laughs> Shoot, I'm just sitting here just tapping my fingers on my desk. So Mitch getting a little stuck up on seven six here. Saw Skybills uh, bypass that that fortress here with a with a cloud. Mm hmm. Again, having that cloud and that fire. Very, very nice. So again, you, you see Scott here, you know, sometimes people have said that, oh, she doesn't do a lot of damage boosting, but you know, when you're playing a randomized set, when you have really unknown enemies, like just like right now, having a tail is a pretty nice advantage to have, you know, especially compared to vanilla runs, because vanilla, right. you only have a tail when you need to fly, and that's very, very minimal in, in a run of the game, per se. And of course, being a little bit more cautious, keeping your power ups, avoiding death. Hopefully, Mitch can also avoid the death. This is the level that Sky died on. So, and, oh, once oh again, boy! Once again, boss. Don't pass. blame me. He, remember, he's pressing the buttons. <laughs> uh, he bounced out the Koopa there, and I'm not sure if he was trying to go for the Koopa kill or whatnot, but it, it didn't work out. So, as you can see, he decides to use the whole combo there, Cloud. Plus music box. Yeah, so both players succumb into Boss Bass's fierce mouth there. So Mitch is about to finish World 4. Meanwhile, Scott Bills has finished her fifth world right now. So that lead is, is again starting to build here. Again, Mitch can cut some of that deficit off um, in just a little bit as he starts the fifth world, which is World 1's map. He does have that hammer. Mm -hmm. I should allow him to skip three stages. Yeah, so I will trim it down a smidge here. <laughs> Boss Bass is the king. Boss Bass gets the silver. <laughs> or the, the, the gold, should I say. So we're, we're giving away the silver, the bronze, and what's what's fourth place get? Bron uh, what is it? What? <laughs> a certificate of participation. <laughs> We'll just give you a gold star. We'll just email you a sticker. There you go. <laughs> oh, dude. So here we go. Skybill is going through the pyramid stage here again, part of the normal item pool we talked about a little bit earlier. Here. Uh, well, shoot, not having that flight. See, Mitch did use that hammer. He's getting a few stages. Mm -hmm. uh, World 5 is another opportunity to use uh, to skip up three stages with the hammer. Gotta, gotta pick another one up, though. Yeah, but like I said, they have a couple couple of hammers in the bottom there. Maybe Scott can get one for one of those. Of course, for Mitch's sake, um, if it's a common hammer, again, no benefit, nothing to help him catch up because they'll both have the same perk. In. Right. Scott, again, I think that was third clip on both 7 1 and 7 6. Nicely done. So consistent. Yeah, I wonder if she's been practicing that. I know uh had a little bit of trouble in her previous match, but. Able to get it here, done here where it counts. Yeah, someone like Mitch, you'll probably see going for every clip. I mean, even even like I said, levels like seven nine. Uh, you know, pending there's no boss bass in the way, obviously. Right. Um, well, we've got a fire nipper there. So here's another level again. You can use your speed run strats, but you just don't know what enemies you're gonna get. So as long as you can have a free hit, you're probably okay. You saw a runaway chain chomp there. Those are always cool to see. Yeah. Yeah. So again, some people, some people, pra you know, it's interesting because we have some people that practice it for their tournaments, and some people just they literally only play randomizer when it's time for their race. Yep. You know, it's, that's all. So, and interesting, we have people that have made it quite far from both, you know, both styles of, of uh, you know, grind this game per se. So here we go. We're going to see what these pairs of hamburgers on the lower part of World 5 screen are going to award. So, uh. It's not a hammer there. Yeah, no hammer, hammer. Yeah, another low hit Koopa Kid. Invisible. As, as, I remember I tweeted about this invisibility versus invincibility. <laughs> yeah, so we had to confirm it. I think most of us sometimes said it wrong, but yeah, the, the player is still visible. 
So again, a nice little cloud that both players will have the advantage of taking care of or using it later. It wouldn't shock me one bit to see Sky just caught over the over the um, fort. She doesn't. I see. I notice a lot of her playing. She doesn't like. She doesn't like the forts. You know, the forts. Doesn't seem, yeah, it doesn't seem like it. You know, forts can be long. Of course, keeping that, keeping a part of the randomizer, you all not just playing it, but knowing what levels you've already played. So as you get later on to the race of the actual randomizer, you know, oh yeah, I haven't seen this level yet. I haven't seen this one. So, you know, just to take out that whole RNG, just skipping and be done with it. Right, you may just take a, a cloud in the, what would seem like an like unoptimal place, if that's the word. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it could be kind of, uh, be beneficial just because playing those odds about which stages you have and have not played. Mm-hmm. Is Skyville going for the item here? This is something we haven't seen. Yeah, she oh, you know, no. Not anymore. She, can, not. Well, she doesn't know what's in that block there, but again, having to deal with the chomp to get it, so... Right. Trying to use that Koopa to take out the chomp, and you can uh, fly up to. Let me go back. Probably not too late. Mm -hmm. um, if you fly it, there's a, a pipe up there. You fly up to it, and it'll, there's a free item up there. Not many people, uh, not many players have gone for. Could lead yeah. to uh, something useful. Yep. But the time, it does take some extra time compared it to playing. Does. But you never know. Yep. Uh, Mitch getting the clip with the tail again, much more difficult to do it that way, but it's not going to stop him from trying it. Having to take a death and not probably not having the best inventory to just power up, but not too many items. But yeah, Mitch, like Mitch is going to go for it. It's like he's skipping the, the card game, may like feel like he's behind a bit just after a few deaths. And uh, world seven, it's going to just skip it and play uh, try to power through here. Interesting, we have both seven three and the seven three beta stage far. So uh, what's not beta though is this lovely A2. Sky gonna take the shameful sand here. Now interesting enough, she doesn't need to do any power ups here because she already has a max capacity item. I mean, she might get a hammer or a tanuki, but but she's gonna take the coin just to take out the whole middle part of the play. Yeah, avoid the music note blocks in the center. Yeah, it might be just a tad slower, but definitely 100% safer. No doubt about that. Saw Mitch there use the uh... The P switch and a yeah. previous stage to uh, turn the blocks into coins and then go through the pipe that way instead of having to wait for the shell to go back and forth to lead a, create a path. Yeah. So, no, no, yeah, Mitch didn't waste the hammer. He, he uses hammer, well, he uses hammer and, and skipped the front half of it. Yeah, something that Scabio didn't use because she used her hammer. In World 2's map to skip to break the rock to go straight to um, the pyramid. pyramid stage. Yeah, yeah. So even though stages are shuffled, uh, the tower here that Mitch is going through is always going to be in its in this place. And that's because it leads to the upper part of the overworld. It doesn't end with a card. It doesn't end with a boom boom fight. Yeah. And in order to access the upper part of uh, World Five, you have to go through this stage and into this pipe here. So P uh, Scabby gets that P wing there. There's literally a chat conversation about invincibility. Oh my! <laughs> Wait a minute. What happens in like Mario 64 there when you get when you get the invisible? invisible. Cap? Ooh. Because you can't get damage, but you can take fall damage. Like, but you, but you, huh? Right. Okay. Never mind. I'll let me yeah. able to deal with that one. <laughs> this is but this it, is 2D Mario. You got Metal Mario and Invisible Cap. Do you still take fall damage? It's like Metal Mario in some of those ROM hacks. He'll just bounce off like lava, like lava <laughs> piece. Oh my, that's too much. Anyway, Mitch going through seven three again. Mitch is not as far behind, but yeah, uh, he's yeah. made up some time. Definitely like has. It's magic. Nintendo is purely magic. <laughs> Yeah, I still don't get to have the whole power thing where it's in the first place. But it's all good. So again, Mitch trying to play catch up here. Scott Bill trying to maintain that lead. Yeah, I, know, I believe Mitch has at least one cloud he could use. Yeah. I'm not, not sure about Sky Bill's inventory. So again, Sky's going to be headed off to complete her sixth world here in just a few moments here. Mitch. 
Maintaining his, his peace, but he's going to flow across his numbers. Got to be a little careful here. There's no sun, though. It's not really any issue here. It shouldn't see any problem for him. I'm probably just running fly over the gap. See what Roy has in store. So Roy is, is a little thick in here. That's four hits. Hey, that's more like it, right? Yeah, e yeah, very easy to fight, especially being on the flat terrain. So yeah, definitely. Um, with so. uh, with that tail, you'll be able to just float and time your properly. No problem mm -hmm. with sky bills. Yeah. So Sky will have one more world to get through here, and I think all we have left is uh, world six. Yeah, the long one. The long one. I personally, I'm hoping that it's going to force in the long path. Just kind of. Shorten this up. I just they need to work a little bit. It's the semifinals for God's sake, man. right? They, they work a little harder here. So we got another anchor. So another another mushroom here. Yeah, these pipe leads. Oh, not quite. Dumb seed. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, hopping through five eight here. This level can be a little nasty to an ending part. Just. All the enemies and the spines and whatnot, but it just seems to be too much of an issue, especially when you have a power up. And wow, poor Lakitu. That Lakitu's always there. Always. I'm there. sorry, yeah. Lakitu. Lakitu? I like Lakitu. They, like, they like the other <laughs> saying of it. <clears throat> All right, so we are going to shorten this world by a third here. Since we can skip the front third, one, two, and three in the castle. And then, of course, we're not going to skip this boss pass yet again. No, just. just... Lurking below, waiting. <clears throat> Indeed. Our only stage that we have the homing bullet bills, which you probably wouldn't see them and tap, do their thing because of. Oh, wait, these turn right around. There. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know. Gotta find some way to spawn those at random, more like that Mario is. Maker. Yeah. We straight enemy spam. <clears throat> All right, so Mitch gonna wrap up World 6 and try to join Scott very quickly in World 7. Which is World Six? A little confusing there, but not guys, confusing at all. Not <laughs> confusing. I'm telling you, Lakitu. We got, we got two. We got two uh, world markers on the overlay. Yep. So oh, well, well. Hammer a little late. A little late for that hammer, but it's it's there. Interesting, yeah. Because interesting enough, that's gonna that's gonna obviously present some chances in World Eight now when we get could, there. Could, <clears throat> does yeah. she hold on to it? Uh, until World 8 or use it here uh, to skip a fortress. Yeah, because you can either skip well. the fortress or skip 7. Skip 6, 7. So, literally only, only a one-stage benefit no matter which one she chooses. Right. World 8 could be, be more beneficial. Mm -hmm. She might actually she might actually just sample 7, 6 and say, oh, this, or 6, 7, should I say, and say, oh, this is, it might be, it might be the water auto scroller, so, which would immediately be whatever, but, because she's already played it anyway, so, she's going to cloud. Again, keeping an eye on what she already has. Knowing, again, she skips the fort, she ain't got time for that. And of course, she P-wings it, and luckily, nice use of P-wing there. Watch out for boss bass, though. Yep, so, again, sometimes luck does come into effect, and Scott got very lucky she used the P-wing on the level that could be easily be skipped over. So again, not knowing what the order would be and the result in greatness. So if Mish gets there and doesn't have any flight ability, or should I say P-Wing specifically, he'll have to try to wall jump it. Yeah. Or just take a death and then try it again with a better item. Uh, I say a lot of times when you play an unknown level, you just, you, again, keep an eye on what levels you haven't played and say, you know what, let's just go for a maximum power up and see what happens. Yeah, because especially after using a, a cloud like that, if you die in that stage you cloud over, you have to go back and play that stage you skipped. Yeah, very, very common to use a maximum power up after a cloud. We we, we saw a, a race a few days ago, <clears throat> a player on the upper part of World 6 used um, the triple cloud on the upper part. He skipped 5-4-2, oh. 5-8-5-9, five, five, yeah. five, five, and then died on the castle and go all the way back. That's that's rough. Yeah, that is, that's one of the roughest ones I've seen. To die after a triple cloud. So here we go. Again, Scott pulling away, about to be headed to the final stage. Again, this is the best out of three here. So, first to win three games, but well, they're not playing that many. <laughs> they tie, but yeah. 
the first to win two out of three is going to be moving on to the finals on Saturday, where they will go against either Classic Gamer 88 or Duck Fist. That match will be after the conclusion of this match, so it's going to be a whole lot of Mario action. A full sure. evening of Mario Brothers 3. Yep. So again, Mitch also using the P-Wing there. No problem for either of them. So Scott Bills is where the fun begins. Now again, we have seen races have turned. In fact, Sky took her very first loss in this tournament during her quarterfinals match against Chuck. And it was largely in part due to some bad RNG in this level. Both our players were going the wrong way. Sky had Sky got grabbed by the hands on the hand bridge, whereas her opponent managed to get by. So that actually broke her her undefeated streak as far as randomizer races per se. Yeah, that's a, a tough way to lose a race by just hand bridge. Just came came down to the hand bridge and one player had one uh, one uh, uh, stage to yeah, man. The difference. Stuff just happens like that. You know, pe we've had people lose races because of RNG, because of not playing a Hammer Brother, using oh, yeah. a Cloud incorrectly. I mean, it's just so many things that have happened. Yeah, this, um, but, this randomizer is definitely more than just run and jump. It's there's, There are some decision, decisions that need to be made. Mm -hmm. And it can backfire, and that's not good, and they can be very, very beneficial. We've seen yeah. it as well. So, unfortunately, we are stuck like Chuck behind that lock there. She does so have that uh, hammer. Yeah, so she does have that hammer there. So, we don't, again, we don't know what's going to happen. Of course, using the hammer there, we're only getting access to one additional uh, pipe right. initially until you, and of course, being the castle at that point, or the fort would just unlock the bottom too. So, we got boom boom kills everywhere right now. How does that really work? <laughs> Boom Boom still has three hits, well, or five fireballs for that, or one hammer. For now. <laughs> for now. For now. For now, all right. All right, so Scott's going to traverse here, and of course, ends up at the bottom. So again, smart to save that hammer, looks like. So let's see where this one takes us to. And well, well, well. Again, another, this is a very, very generous seat as far as pipe randomization. I'm having to Definitely, spend much yeah. time at all finding routes here. Um, the only main problem was honestly was seven. You know, Mitch took the wrong way. Sky went the right way. So, That's other really than difference. that, yeah, yeah. Other than that, I mean, everybody's happy for the paper and just one mistake, unfortunately, being a pretty costly one for Mitch. So the hammer, obviously, not even being a factor um, in World Eight right now. I don't know if it, did uh, did Mitch uh, skip that that hammer? It, was, uh, I mean, it, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but yeah, I think he, I think I think he think skipped he got it. it. Okay. I don't know. Did he get it? I don't know. I, I, don't know. Know. I still can't see. So. <laughs> uh. so Sky's looking pretty favorable to winning this race here, unless well something bad happens way too many times. You don't want to wish that upon her. I wish nothing bad against anybody unless exactly. they both. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yes, everybody feeling nobody at all. <laughs> Using that, uh, using the pick up a or using the hammer power up before entering this castle, going for the quick kill on Bowser. It's got to, uh, just has to make it through one more screen before that. Mm -hmm. Of course, interesting enough, thanks to all this, this world three being free and and really, really nice pipe orange, we're gonna have a sub 40 <clears throat> over there for him. We haven't had a lot of sub 40s, we had a few, but not many. Yeah, you can all, whenever you have a free world three, it, it really screams sub 40 almost all the time. Definitely helps. Yeah, definitely does. You, you gotta have that stuff to have those low times, no matter what. No matter how amazing your movement is, sub 40 just ain't possible without some really good luck. I mean, yeah, the world, uh, free world three is a minute over a minute. Yeah. And Skybill yeah, is gonna perfect. take this first match. Yeah, so she will go into the lead this time. One and zero. Oh. Then this is this is exactly how she started her quarterfinal. She started one and zero. Oh. Of course, I'm just saying to maximize the chat hype. You know, I still I like game three. I like three games. I oh yeah, we do. You know, so you know I don't want them to fail. Um, but I do want game three. So I'll let you all figure out how that's supposed to happen. We want really close matches, really good. And the maximize the amount of content, so that's perfect, right? Yes, yes. I mean, we have this whole big time block. May as well fill it up, unless you yeah. want to watch 
Does she want to watch me and your tab play or something? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just fill in some time with some random stuff. I think we can manage. Yeah. Uh, Mitch did find the right path uh, here in World 8. At least she mm -hmm. torches behind. The next match is right after this one. Yeah. Yeah. Playing back-to-back uh, -back matches with a potential third. Mm -hmm. And then another matchup right after that. So if we play oh, our cards we right. That. Yeah, if we play our cards right, man, we're going to have six six races of this game tonight. If everything goes fantastic, right? Yeah. Tell you, man. I sing. No, we don't want to scare <laughs> everybody out the chat. That's what's what for Karaoke Fridays, right? Oh, you do goodness. that on your channel now? Yeah, all you need <laughs> is me sitting dog on YMCA or something like that. Oh, oh gosh, no. no. Mitch. Oh, Mitch. That, uh, Dry Bones. Man. And then the Disco Waffle, man. <laughs> Just, man, he's, oh, oh. my goodness, great. <laughs> Boy, the reduction of status there was brutal. The, the game just doesn't want him to stop. Yeah. Zelda Keith San Key Sanity. This is Mario. Fuck yeah. Keith Sanity. Ain't nobody got time for Lunk or Lank? Lonk? Whatever his name is. What, what's, the, what's the cool word to call him now? I don't even know what it is. Lonk? Lonk. One of those. Wait, wait. wait uh, one of those. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it says me. I'm sitting here playing Zelda Randomizer. It's the, it's the popular randomizer. Uh, well, here we have Mario Bros. 3, and this is what we're going So Mitch is, is going for some kind of break the brick strat. I'm not sure about that. I think after like a thousand uh, jumps, you get a, a break. Yeah. So let's look at this. We haven't seen a fire kill on this in a while, actually. So you get to see this. What yeah, is it? 28 fireballs? Uh, some number of them, yeah. Dang it, I can't remember the number. It's a lot a, in a short amount of time. I'm a bad, com we're bad commentators. <laughs> we don't remember the exact number. No, I don't know, but yeah. I swear it's 28, man. That sounds right. Let's go with that. Or is it 30 something? Maybe it's 30. 35? 4? 52? No, it's 42. Well, while you all count, Mitch has also done as well with uh, official time that is not as fast. Not stopping. 